Welcome to a tutorial video on Bitsy 8. In this video, I'm going to show how to use a room action to change what is controlled. We've previously talked about the avatar being the thing controlled by a user or player. We can change what's controlled on the screen as a visual representation. That is, by default, the avatar looks like this, but through a room action available through a dialogue interaction, we can change the avatar to another sprite that's available in the same game. So what in the world am I talking about? Well, let's look at an example I've set up here. So I have a cat and I have two buttons right here that are sprites. Over here for the cat, I've set up a little bit of a branching list that's checking to see if a variable is a particular value or not. So if avatar is equal to one, the cat says, I only talk to cats. If avatar is equal to two, oh, hello, fellow cat. Remember, variables are just like items that are available through the inventory tool, and we can set up multiple variables as needed. Unlike items, variables aren't changed by picking something up, by using something. Remember, when we interact with an item, we use it up and it becomes part of our inventory. But if we want to track other data, we can use variables for a similar purpose. So I've set up a variable at the default value of one when this game starts. Then I'm checking to see via the sprite cat right here if avatar is equal to one and that's the default value. It says I only talk to cats or if it's two, it's gonna say hello fellow cat. Well, the thing that's changing its values is through interactions with one of two different buttons. So over here in sprites, I'm gonna shift over to button one. Button one in its dialog has set up morph avatar and avatar equal to two. The morph avatar is what's called a room action and we've seen some of these already. So under dialog here, if I click add, go down to room actions, I've selected this very bottom one right here, avatar right here. And I can make avatar look like, and then I have the options of one of the sprites that's within the same game. So the default avatar, which is what it starts with, and then options of cat, button one, or button two, and I have up here, I've set it to equal to cat. So the make avatar look like cat. And I've also used right here, set variable. So this is a variable action right here, and I've set variable value to two. So the reason why I've done this is because when we interact with this button, it's going to change the avatar into a cat. If you are a cat, it's going to change you back into the avatar using this button. And then this cat over here is going to react to that change. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I attempt to interact with this cat, it's going to say, I only talk to cats. Because currently, avatar is equal to one, as shown right here in the inventory tool. However, if we interact with this button down here, I change over to cat. And that's what just happened. Morph avatar, make avatar look like cat, which is what just happened, avatar equal to two. Avatar is now equal to two. If I go talk to this cat, oh, hello, fellow cat. But if I now go up and talk to this button or interact with it, I've changed back to default avatar. So within the morph avatar or change avatar option within room actions and dialogue, we can change whatever the avatar looks like from its default, whatever we prepared when we were making, preparing the game. So for me, it looks like this, which is the default. And then we can change it into looking like one of the sprites we have available. Now keep in mind, potentially, if we wanted to, we could create a sprite that looked like the avatar, but had a subtle change. And that could be an important way to change things if we wanted the avatar to change as a result of different things going on. In this particular example, I've just changed it to cat using a button and changed it back using another button. So for each button, I'm using morph avatar, again, the room action, and I'm also updating a variable, which is what the other cat is responding to. So this cat right here, if I go over to Sprite, is based on this branching list responding to this change, and each button in turn only does the morph avatar and changes the value, and button two, morph avatar changes the value. So in each case, using the room action change avatar, so under add, uh, room action, and then down here an avatar to change that avatar between different sprites available to us. So a somewhat complicated idea, but among a number of things we now have uh, the option to use within Bitsy 8, as we're now creating more complex dialogue, in particular paying attention to actions. And we've seen a number of these already, and avatar just allows us to also change the presentation of the avatar within the room as we're moving around. 
Again, a really important tool in our growing toolbox as we learn how more dialogue interactions can trigger actions, and in this case, a room action, to change what the avatar looks like from one thing to another. All of this, of course, within Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.